What? I never give out people's number without asking them first. Never. First of all, why are you telling your mama that my man is fine? See all these girls going and hanging out with friends and the friends don't like them. Oh my goodness. And it ends up in tragedy sometimes. Even when something's not on trend, I'm trending because I stay true to me. When it comes to your appearance, it does count. Makeup therapy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm obsessed with makeup again, so we are gonna do some makeup and therapy. I did my girls talk video before, so I kinda wanna do that while doing my makeup again. So we're gonna be doing a simple makeup look, no eyeshadow, just super clean, and all that good stuff. So, let's jump into the makeup session. So I'm gonna start off, but we're not doing eyeshadow, so we're gonna do a base. So the base is gonna act like eyeshadow, and then I'm gonna set it, and we're gonna do wing liner. So yeah, it's gonna be one of those simple, quick and easy looks. So we're gonna get right into it. So life has been good, I can't complain. Life has been good. Um, mental health, life, mental health and health. So you, we all know that health is wealth, right? So I've been feeling good. Um, I did get sick a few weeks ago and I had to get on some steroids because I am asthmatic and yeah, I needed that. But in all actuality, I want to start doing natural remedies for my asthma. Taking, I, I want to take mullein, you know, magnesium, things like that, elderberry, you know, just going back to how it was before modern medicine. Because to be honest with you, the steroids had my stomach so sick, but I was getting better, but then I wasn't feeling better because whew, I was just going through it. So that's the eyeshadow base. So we're going to set it. Yeah, we're going to set it with some translucent powder and then we're going to move on to the face. So yeah, I'm better now. I feel better. Um, I've been juicing. I'm still exercising. I'm trying to exercise five times a day again i was going five times a day before and baby <laughs> i stopped and i did plateau but we back on it i didn't gain any weight i just plateaued as far as my weight loss so i'm still looking good feeling good so yeah that's where i'm at as far as mental health we talked about life last time Life is good. I can't complain. I'm very grateful for my family and my support system that I have. I'm very, very grateful. So we're going to move on. I think we're going to go into face. No, I'm going to do my liner. I'm going to try to talk and still do this. Uh, mental health. My mental health is actually good. Thank God. Um, it was a time where I was struggling you know, because you, you want certain things, you want things to happen instantly, but you got to work towards what you want. So I had to get over that. And I think that was triggering my mental health issues. As far as just like, you know, just being down on yourself and also rushing things. Nothing comes... Easy, you gotta work for everything you have, you want, you need. So I feel like that was triggering my mental health. But once I got that in order, and I know that what's for me is for me, I think I basically got over that. It definitely took some time. It wasn't like an overnight thing. But it definitely had me in a chokehold because mental health without mental health you have nothing you have to really look at yourself and say okay you got this let's just keep moving let's just keep working stop looking at other people's success and where other people are in life i always love this side this side just gives me my left side period just because i'm right-handed it always just gives me you know something i don't want but well, we're going to try to figure it out. 
I basically just had to tell myself, like, girl, you're going to get there. Don't worry about it. And it's the fact that my hair just made my liner mess up. That was crazy. A stray piece of hair did that. A stray piece of hair. Okay, so I'm going to have to fix this. I just cleaned it up with whatever concealer I had. Now I'm going to try to set that without irritating the liner. Oh, wish me luck. So I'm going to try to set it real quick. Perfect. And growth as well. Maturity comes with that as well. Just knowing that you got it. And not every day you're going to be okay. Because I'm not okay every day. But every day I do push forward. We're just going to set the whole lid. So that it doesn't interfere. Every day. Not every day, sorry. Not every day I'm like, yeah, girl, you got this. Sometimes I feel down, but it's how long I stay down. You know, don't stay down. And I could say that because I'm living it. Like, don't stay down. You're not going to be down forever. So don't stay down. Don't feel down. It was times when I did not want to get out of bed. And then you hear people say things like that. And... You're like, really, girl? You didn't want to get out the bed, girl? You... Until you live it. So let's try this before we have another accident. So I didn't do my skincare, so I'll do it with you guys. So we're going to go in first with some rose water. No, we're going to do the micellar water first. Micellar, micellar. And we're going to do our skin prep. Usually I do this beforehand, but we're here. But yeah, mental health definitely is very serious very very serious and i was on tiktok the other day and um i stumbled across this guy's video and he was talking about outer appearance and basically you when you look better you feel better um people treat you better in all honesty that is the absolute truth um he w he gained a lot of weight. Oh, okay. My, now we're going to do the rose water, and then we're going to go into the next step. So, yeah, he gained a lot of weight, and he was basically saying that people who are saying, oh, love me from within, love me for the person I am, those are the people who don't want to change and don't want to upgrade themselves and don't want to, you know, put their best foot forward. Um, in my opinion, I wouldn't say that outer appearance should trump it all but we do live in a superficial world and that's just the world we live in you know i'm gonna dry this down a little bit not too much yes we do live in a superficial world and that's how everybody perceives you if you look good they're gonna treat you good if you look bad they're not gonna treat you good which is so crazy but that's the world we live in okay skin prep down now it's the moisturizer time um i can attest to that like it's days where i just have my bonnet on and like i didn't do my hair that day and i will go into the supermarket and it's this guy i see the guy all the time usually when i'm going to the supermarket i'm just like going to pick up something real quick to make dinner that night the same guy will ask him a question and he would act like I'm bothering him. Like he don't want to help. But when my hair is down and my bonnet is off, I don't even have any makeup on. Let's just, let's start there. I have no makeup on, but I just have a bonnet on my head. Because I'm running in and out to the store. The same guy. If my hair, just like how my hair is right now, and I just pull it down, I will go to the store, same clothes, same everything, and I ask for help. He will help me with not a problem. With not a problem. And it's so weird. Because I laugh to myself because I say I'm the same person that come in here with the bonnet on. Maybe I look different with my bonnet on versus my bonnet off. 
I don't know. But look at me, and I have the fan. The same guy will help me. Not a problem. And I said to myself, is it because of the bonnet? He don't want to help me? Because I have no makeup on, not a piece, not a stitch, not a nothing of makeup on. And he will help me. He will help me. Stop his work to help me. Now, it was another time, same guy, same guy. I had just finished doing a makeup tutorial. It was in the winter time. I remember I did a, I think it was like a pink look and I had like my, my green jacket on. I think I did like a reel or something like that. Cause I remember I could see the makeup in my head. I, I had that makeup on and I went to the store. The same guy. I was looking for, I think I wanted to make Chinese food and I was looking for some type of, um, oh, I was looking for soy sauce. Was it soy sauce? It was something I was looking for that I never bought before. It couldn't have been soy sauce because I buy soy sauce all the time. But, um, I was looking for something. Oh, my laptop. Sorry, y'all. I was looking for something and I, um, he saw me looking. Like, he saw me, like, going, I guess I had, like, a confused look on my face. So, he said, what are you looking for? And I said, I'm looking, I don't remember what it was. But I said, I'm looking for this item. And he went and found somebody and brought them to me. I asked the person what, like, for the product. The person was showing me, like, bringing, they were like, oh, I can show you. The guy was following us to make sure that the guy showed me where the product was. And I'm just laughing to myself. And I said, when I have my bonnet on, you don't, you act like I'm bothering you. I don't have my bonnet on, but my hair is down. You're helping me. Now with my makeup done, my hair done, you're following to make sure that I get exactly what I need. So when that video came out and I saw that guy talking about, so, um, about like how you present yourself and like, if you always look nice or, you know, and things like that, you get treated differently. And he actually wants to be treated like that again. Cause he used to be skinny. I said, I can attest to that. I can attest to that because he was so in depth, like, oh, I have to make sure. And even when I was going to the catch register, he asked me if I needed anything else. So, yes, when it comes to your appearance, it does count. It counts way more than if you're nice. It counts way more if you have money, if you have a job. I could be $2 to my account, but I look good. And people are going to treat me better because of my appearance. Now, it's a sad thing to say. I mean, I am used to that getting treated nicely and getting on the bus for free and, you know, things like that. But it, it's, it's, it's something when it comes to that self appearance, like you really have to, you got to keep yourself up and it's a sad thing. And I'm not saying you have to keep yourself up for people to like you and want to be around you and treat you good. But self-appearance clearly trumps it all. Because I could be so mean. I could be a bitch. But, you know, I look good. So people are going to treat me better than if I didn't look good. And that's with and without makeup. As long as my hair is done. As long as my hair is done. I'm going to get that special treatment. When I got the bonnet on, they don't want nothing to do with me. So... I'm just saying, self-appearance is very, very important. I'm looking at my laptop. What is the next topic? Because we're about to go into foundation. Um, staying true to you, but okay, okay. This is a this is a good topic, and I can attest to this topic as well. Let me get my foundation together. It says staying true to you, but staying on trend as well. Now, when it comes to me and makeup, I think of trends. You know, like hair. Makeup, everything is a trend. How you dress, everything is a trend. When it comes to what, how I dress, I'm forever going to be 
that tomboy and it's gonna always come out of me but this summer i have upgraded um mixing my foundations i'm using my black opal foundation like on my other tutorials so yeah um just making sure i got the right color yeah so staying on trend and being true to me it's easy for me because i go back and forth when it comes to my hair i go back and forth when it comes to my makeup so staying on trend and staying true to me, I really do what I like. I could care less. I was doing short hair before short hair was trendy. Just saying. Yeah, so short hair is now trending. I was doing short hair since, child, since, since when? Since 2010. And I started my channel in 2014, like... I was forever on trend. Even when something's not on trend, I'm trending because I stay true to me. So, yeah. So, you can always stay on trend, but stay true to you with adding a twist. You don't always have to copy somebody exactly, but sometimes staying on trend is not even worth it. Stay true to you. It depends on what the trend is. Sometimes I'll follow it. Like the whole pink blush thing. I tried it. I did my spin on it. And it was okay. It's just not my thing. So, yeah, staying true to me is best. I don't follow trends. I'll definitely try it one time. If I don't like it, it's okay. And then most of the time, I go back to how I do my makeup anyway. So, that's just basically how I combat that. Making sure that... Cool. I said, what was it? Cool new? It was not cool new. It was rich caramel. Okay, so I'm trying to make sure that my foundation look good. <laughs> but yeah, I don't follow trends. Sometimes I follow it, sometimes I don't. Moral of the story is, if you're going to follow a trend, try to tweak it and make sure that you're still being you. Like You don't want to alter who you are completely. Just, you know, tweak the trend. Tweak the trend. Because I'm going to always be me. And I'm going to always follow my heart, you know? Always going to be me. Looking at the topic, um, I didn't want to, you know what I mean? Social media can deplete you and inspire you. Um, yes, yes. So the next topic is social media. It can deplete you and it could build you up. And it can inspire you. So with me, with social media, it definitely has inspired me. I don't really follow like what somebody's buying, um, what they're wearing, um, where they're going. It, what inspires me as far as social media is um, different video techniques, you know, different trends as far as, like, how I can boost my social media presence, you know, reels, things like that. Like, what are people doing in their reels like that? I don't care about what you bought, who your man is. I don't care. I care about, you know, just inspiring me to change up my editing style and things like that. So I try not to follow that trend. And as far as social media depleting, you want spray. As far as social media depleting you, please don't let it deplete you. Please do not be fooled about everybody going out and spending money and looking good. Cause these people could be spending it and taking it right back after the reel is done, like, or the next day. I really don't care about what bag somebody has and I could care less. I look to social media for inspiration to boost my social media presence and, you know, just up my skills. I don't care about all of that sneakers and the new Jordans are dropping, so I got to go get it. I could care less about that stuff definitely not something i care about you know so yeah social media could be good and bad for you it could be good for your mental health because it's boosting my confidence as far as like oh, okay let me try that let me see if you know that'll work for me editing styles or you know reels or you know just type of tutorials that people are interested in seeing but it can deplete you because if you're trying to compete with them people them people are lying girl Social media is a scam. And this brings me to my next topic as I contour, okay? Work on yourself and do what matters to you. 
that is key. Like, that goes right into, or that follows up what I just said about social media. Work on yourself and do what matters to you. I don't care about any of this internet drama. I'm going to do, let me see, brown down, which is this one. I don't care about, is it this one? I think this is brown down. Hold on, y'all. Brown down. Oh, that's beautiful bronze. So I'm mixing. I'm mixing my contours today because, child. But yeah, I don't care about what goes on on baddies. I don't. Baddies and like E. Kane on TikTok and child, I don't care about these people. I look to social media for inspiration and ideas. If you're looking to social media for anything else, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, like I don't look to them for anything, girl. Social media is an illusion. Especially in the world we're living in with everything. Child, I can't be bothered. I cannot be bothered. Huh. Whew, we're going to highlight. Okay, so the next topic is what I'm not doing. <laughs> now... That topic is, I could talk about that topic all day. But let me get my, let me do cashew. I'm going to get my highlight together. Okay, so what I'm not going to do, what I'm not going to do is go back and forth with anybody. Not going to go back and forth with anybody. And I'm trying that with my family as well. If we're arguing or have a disagreement, I would just say, I'm not talking about this anymore. We can drop the conversation. Now, it may seem harsh, but I need to protect my peace no matter who it is. I have to protect my peace. I have to protect my peace. I got to. And it's going to sound harsh. It's going to sound harsh. It's going to sound like, don't talk to me. But I need to protect my peace. So in 2024, well, the remainder of 2024, if I have an issue, I'm going to say, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I just don't want to talk about this anymore. Please respect that I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> and keep it moving. I, it's too, look. It's just too, it's, I'll be tired. I don't want to argue anymore. I don't want to fight. I don't want to be stressed. I don't want you be stressed, you know? Just don't want to. In 2024, I will be talking less, listening more. Um, I've already tried to implement that, talking less, listening more. <sighs> because sometimes when you just listen, there's no issue to be had, right? So, yeah. And while this melts in, I don't go immediate into blending creams. You have to let it warm up to the skin. What's the next topic? Going back and forth. Already addressed that with the, you know, what I'm not going to do. So, yeah, I don't want to go back and forth anymore, especially with my family. I don't want to do it. It's not healthy. So, yeah, I'm just going to talk less and listen more. So they can be heard, you know? And sometimes I can figure things out without opening my mouth. I can just watch and assess, you know, and keep it pushing. So I'm going to get my sponges. Hold on, y'all. So the next topic is going back on my word. I never go back on my word. I'm not going to say never. Nine times out of ten, I don't go back on my word. I always make sure that, you know... If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. If I'm going to 
I put my mind to doing something, I'm going to do it, you know, and get it done. So going back on my word is something I rarely do. My word is literally all I have. So I try not to do that. Try not to do that. Do that. Go back on my word. If I say I'm going to come to your house, I'm going to come to your house. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. If I say I'm going to help you, I'm going to help you. You know, some people, they are so disingenuine and so jaded and so scarred by other people that when I do keep my word, they say, Diana, you said you was going to do that and you really did it. Yeah. But I have to, uh, like, realize and understand not everybody is going to keep their word. Not everybody is going to stick to what they say. So I try not to be wishy-washy. That's not me. So we're going to blend this out while I look to see what my next topic is. Let me move my laptop closer because y'all can't even see it. And I'm struggling to see it so with all these lights. Waiting on people to do things with me. Oh, my goodness. Um, I've always been a loner. Always been a loner. Still a loner. With family, with, with a boyfriend, like, with my man. And all that. I'm still a loner. I still love to do things by myself. I actually prefer to be alone. <laughs> like, right now, he's at work. She's at work. I'm at work, too, because I'm working. <laughs> But, yeah, I just love the fact that I could keep myself company. I love to be alone. Like, oh, my goodness, I just love to be alone. So I'm always going through things for myself. I went, I go shopping by myself. You know, I do, I travel by myself. Like, if I got somewhere to go, I run errands by myself. Like, I don't need somebody always with me and i'm not saying if you do need somebody with you all the time i'm not knocking you but it's good to just keep yourself company and to sit in your own skin if you can't keep yourself company i don't know what to tell you because i sure love being alone like even when my family's here like she'll be in her room he's in the living room i'm in my room editing you know, watching TikToks. Most of the time I'm editing and watching TikToks. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, I just love my own voice. I love to be alone. I love just just sitting still. You can't sit with yourself. Like I said, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, baby. So, I'm not going to go super bright today because it's just a simple look and it's also makeup therapy. So, we don't have to be extra doing makeup therapy, right? So, I'm going to look for a brush to blend out this contour. And the brush isn't in front of me. Perfect. So, yeah. Like, if you can't sit with your soul, baby. I don't know what to tell you. I love being by myself. I'm a true introvert. True introvert. I ain't lying. And also, I'm never proving my worth. You can look at me and see I'm valuable. You can look at me and see I take pride in myself. You can look at me and see I care about myself. You can look at me and see that I plays no games. So I'm never proving my worth to anybody. Here, we're going to do a soft look today. Yeah, I'm never proving my worth to anybody. If you can't see it, I'm just going to call you Ray Charles. But even Ray Charles could see my worth. Like, that's how you have to look at yourself. And know it's true. There's no way that I'm not worthy of any job, any promotion, any position, any promo. There is no way that I'm not worthy of it. So I definitely know my worth. Definitely know mine. I brought my contour down a little too low today, but that's okay. I'm going to fix it. But yeah, you got to know your worth. And people will play with you in your face because they know that you know you don't know your worth. No, wait, hold on. People will play with you in your face because they know that you don't know your worth. I don't play. I don't, mm -mm. You could look me in my face and tell me I know my worth. Yeah, I went a little low with the contour today, but it's okay. It's fine. We're going to fix it. Little low. But yeah, you got to know these things. You got to know these things. You got to instill these things. If you watch my other video, Ladies Let's Talk, you will know that I was not 
this was not instilled in me, baby. I was not given these tools. But thank God that I taught myself these things. And just because you weren't taught something does not mean you can't learn it yourself. Okay, let's cut this contour. It's clearly too low. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, it was way too low. Ooh, girl. Too low. It way too low. I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, know your worth. Know your worth and know when people's trying to play with you and read the room. Oh my God, read the room. Some people don't know how to read the room. Read that room. Know who's for you and who's not for you. You can feel it. I'm, I have that discernment. Cause, and I've always had it, thank God, that I can tell who likes me and who don't like me. I can always tell who likes me and who does not like me. It's, it's a gift, and I'm grateful I have it. Because I could just feel it, like, mm. But I'm going to be cordial. I'm not going to, you know, disrespect you if you're not disrespecting me. But I'm going to definitely let you know what it is. Yeah, you got to know your worth, especially nowadays. Hmm. People will try to play you like, yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't kiki in with you. I can feel your spirit. And even if you can't read the room, you can see who's genuinely nice to you and who's faking. You can feel it. You can feel it. Don't ignore those signs. Don't ignore them. I'm just going to top this off with a little bright concealer. Because you know me. Y'all know I love me a bright under eye. You know I love me a bright under eye. Just going to add a little bit more contour. Be yourself. My next topic. Be yourself. Your village will follow. The people who support you, care for you, love for you, they will follow. Be genuinely you. I don't have time to be fake. This is who I am right here. If I was to see any of you guys watching this video and you were to say, oh, Diana, hey, what's up? I'm never faking. I don't got time for the fakeness. Yeah, and don't be fake to people. If you don't like that person, be cordial, but stay away, you know? If you know you genuinely don't like that person, you genuinely don't or anything to do with that person, just stay away. Just stay away. But I have to dry my concealer. Dry my concealer to give me the fullest coverage. But yeah, I'm always, I, I have to be myself. If I'm not myself, then mm -mm. be yourself. That is the number one key. Be yourself, girl. Like-minded people, oh, oh, drop my puff, girl. Like-minded people will find you. Like-minded people will find you. You got to be true to yourself. You don't see all these girls going and hanging out with friends and the friends don't like them. Oh, my goodness. And it ends up in tragedy sometimes because they're plotting against you. You got to be careful who you hang with. I don't have any friends. You guys are my friends. For real. Because people are just so... out to get you if you look better to them and oh my god the girl on tiktok she got a promotion and she went to celebrate with her friends and they tried to put something on her drink thank god the man was next to her next to them well he was probably watching them because they're a group of girls you know you know how men are and he saw when they put something in there and when um she came out the bathroom he told her hey they put something in your drink. Don't drink it. Thank God that that man was in, in the vicinity to see. What if she would have drank it, you know? Got to be, got to be careful. These people are, mm -mm. people are so envious of the smallest things. The smallest things. It's, it's scary. Thank God he was there to tell her, you know? Hey, they put something in there in your drink. Don't drink it. Then she tried to, then after he told her and she sat down, 
She told her friend, you had this drink before? And I think the friend said, no. She said, try it. Tell me if you like it. And the girl would refuse to drink it. Because they knew they put something in the girl's drink. So, because she got a promotion at work. Huh. You know, I like, I, I could speak to something, like, not, not to that, but something within... Within the parameters of people being jealous, your friends being jealous of you. I had this friend. She was my best friend. We was like Chucky, friends to the end. Friends to the end. I'm about to sit under this eye, these eyes. Friends to the end. I met her. I think I met her. Was it middle school? I think I used to go to PS Fifty Nine here in the Bronx. And I think I met her right before we went into junior high. No, I met her. Oh my goodness. How, how long did I know this girl? I think, yeah, PS59. I, okay, so PS59 was in elementary. I think um, that was sixth grade. So I think I met her like fourth or fifth grade. But we definitely was friends um, before we went to middle school. So yeah. When you go to junior high, that's six, seven, and eight, right? Yes. Okay, so I met her think in fourth grade and I was going to PS 59 and yeah we were cool like that was my ace oh my goodness we were friends like like I said since fourth or fifth grade um all through middle school that was my girl she was um coming to my house I was going to her house you know just just hanging out you know and it was some red flags it was this guy he liked me he would just get, he would get on my god dang nerves. Like he, you know, when, you know, when a guy, a boy like you, they would bother the heck out. Oh my God. He used to bother me. When I used to go to her house, I used to tell her, meet me in the front of your building, girl. Cause he going to be out there. He going to harass me and be trying to trap me in the staircase. Child, I'm, child, trying to trap your girl in the staircase. So she would be like, yeah, I'm coming down. And she wouldn't come down. Red flag, but I was like, we was in high school at this time. Red flag. I didn't know it was a red flag. I was in sixth grade. I didn't know what a red flag was. So, anywho, she wouldn't meet me out. Sometimes she would meet me, but nine times out of ten, her behind was a never out there. Never. So, he would be trapping me in the staircase, child, and I would be fighting for my life. You, yeah, fighting for my, literally, fighting for my life. I used to be like, can you please leave me alone? And she like, yeah, he said he like, I'm like, girl, I don't care if he like me. Like, I asked you to calm down. And you couldn't come down for me? Oh, my goodness. Red flag. Red flag, y'all. I said, you couldn't. So I stopped going to her house. Like my mother would say, my mother's kind of you catch sense. I caught a lot of sense. I said, yeah, I ain't going back to her house. You going to have to come to my house. Or I'll see you in school. So I'm not sure if she ever came to my house. I don't think so. I used to just always go to her house. Because I don't have siblings. She had five younger siblings, you know, and her mom and her aunt and stuff. Like, I don't have a big family. I don't have a big family, and I'm my family's not family-oriented. Well, they were at the time, but then now that I look back on it, everybody had their own trauma going on. Girl. I'm going to use this powder to set my contour because I don't have any setting powder. So whatever is left, we're just going to set but yeah, they were going through their own trauma. So I never really had like family time, like with my aunts and uncles and stuff, only like during the holidays. And in my family, everybody has a twin. So um, twin meaning they're born the same year, just months apart. So my twin lived on the other side of the Bronx, you know? So, and like I said, I wouldn't see them like that. Like once we moved out, we used to move with, we used to live with them like when I was super small. 
But then once my mom moved out, my mom and my dad moved out of my aunt's house. Like, we would see them, but like I said, only on holidays. So, you know, that was my ace, man. Like, she was my ace. And then, you know, I would go and, you know, we were still cool. We were still hanging out. Um, fast forward, I think I was like 17 and I, I met this guy. We was cool. Like I had a different set of friends. I didn't go to high school with her. Um, I went to high school by where I used to live and I, you know, had a set of friends and you know, you know how West Indian people are. All my friends were Jamaican. It is what it is. I'm going to contour my nose. I met him and no, no, I'm fast forwarding. Let me, let me, let me rewind. You know, my friends were Jamaican girl. You know, we was we was tearing it up, tearing it up. So, anywho, but I still kept in contact with her, which is fine. So, one day when I was out with my friends, I met this guy. I don't even know where I saw. I don't even know how I met this guy, girl. I don't know. But he was so cool. But he was just super older than me. But he was so cool. Family oriented. Love that. Um, Like I said, he was just older than, way older than me. And it was a we, we, was, we was having the time in the years. So anyway, um, I said, you know what? I'm going to, you know, spend a night at her house. So, you know, I was like, can he drive me over there? So he said, yeah, I'm going to drive you over there. So he took me over there and her and her mom was outside in front of the building. So, you know, they saw his car and things like that. So I'm, I'm like, I ain't thinking about, I ain't thinking about nothing too, 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 too crazy. So next thing you know, we get upstairs and her mother said, oh, your boyfriend is fine. I said, thank you. So she goes, ma, I told you he was fine. Red flag. Why are you calling my man? First of all, why are you telling your mama that my man is fine? What's, what, you Okay. Red flag. Like, it was a lot of red flags for her, but... Child, growing up... Look. I fought tooth and nail to be the woman I am today. Trust me. So, anywho. She's like, Mommy, I told you he was fine. And I remember looking... I remember saying to myself... So, y'all sitting here talking about Mommy. Oh, uh, okay. She was like, and he got a nice car? I was like, so the red flag started, started. Well, that was the second red flag years later. But I don't even, and that's the thing. What else are you telling your mother about my man? What else are you telling your mother about my man? I said, okay, whatever. So anywho, his face was starting to look good. So anywho, I'm like, all right, cool. Whatever. So... I was like, okay, so that was the second red flag. The third red flag was years later, I I we I no longer was with that person. Fast forward, I met my boyfriend today, that I'm still with today. Um she had a baby. I loved her daughter. Oh my god. I loved her daughter. Loved her daughter. Um we were so I, I was supposed to be her godmother, but you know she never went and officially got her baptized, which is fine. You know she she was born here, so some people don't really do that. You know it's mostly like West Indians, Hispanics, things like that, Mexicans that get their kids christened. You know, so I'm like okay, I'm you know I'm always like buying her daughter stuff, always telling her like oh you guys could come spend the weekend with me. You know I was working and things like that. So, she's like, yeah, we know she would come over. My whole family knew her because, like I said, I've known her since fourth grade. Fourth or fifth grade. I've known, her, I've known her for so long. When you're in fourth grade, I don't know how old you are, child. Look, I know you're 13 when you're in sixth grade. No, you're 13? Yeah, when you're in sixth grade because when you go to ninth, wait, what? Six? no, I'm bugging out, sorry. You're 14 when you're in ninth grade. Child, I don't know. I probably put it... I don't know how old you are. Look, at, look, I don't remember. So, I said, you know, it's crazy how 
I'm always like, oh, you guys could come over. And then every time I would say that, she would get more and more mad. Like, I would tell her, like, oh, come over. You know, we could hang out. My family's barbecuing. You know, you guys could spend a weekend. And then she would do it. And then I, for, I realized, like, later, like, more and more, she was like, no, I'm not going to come. No, I'm not going to come. No, I'm not going to come. Fast forward, I got pregnant. So she knows, she knew my boyfriend, his friends, and things like that. So, I'm like, okay, you know, I don't even know if she came to my baby shower or not. I'm not sure. Oh, she did come to my baby shower. Okay. So, you know, like, it, it was it was fine, so I thought. So, you know, we would just hang out. I would see her from time to time because, like I said, I, would, I was working, and then I'm pregnant now. So, you know, I'm going back and forth to work and things like that. It's just this one spat just be trying to take me out hold on y'all okay so um i didn't know it was my baby shower but so she came and her daughter messed her clothes up so so she took her in the bathroom and she was beating her so i knocked on the door and i'm like hey why are you beating her she's a baby why don't you bring an extra set of clothes so i'm like why are you so aggressive with her today usually was she was never like that aggressive with her so I'm like, why are you so aggressive with the poor child? And, you know, she's a baby. Like, I said, I could go with you to Old Navy right now and I could buy her a new outfit. Like, that's just how I am. So she's like, no, no, it's okay. Like, it's fine, it's fine. I'm going to just try to clean it. I said, okay, cool. So we were, I think we were supposed to be going somewhere, but it was, like I said, it was my surprise baby shower. So I don't know how they got me over there, but it, she was there. We were supposed to be going somewhere, blah, 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 blah. So I was getting dressed and everything like that. And then we went to his house and they had the baby shower in the back and it was a surprise. I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> so the whole time at the baby shower, like I, she really didn't say anything to me. So, but I mean, I know it's my day and I know that, you know, she didn't want to like take away from that or whatever. Do I have blush here? I do. <laughs> it was her, you know, it was my day and I figured she just didn't want to. Take away from, you know, my day. Maybe that's why she was upset that her daughter, you know, messed up her clothes. But I'm like, her messing up her clothes has nothing to do with me. Like, I, I offered to, you know, take you. My sister even offered, like, to take her to Old Navy to get her, like, a cute little outfit. Because, you know, Old Navy always have cute little outfits for little girls. So, she's like, no, it's okay. So, so I don't remember speaking to her at the shower. But it's like, after the shower, I didn't really see her. And I'm like okay, where's my best friend? Like, it's my first baby. Oh my gosh, she has a baby. I think her daughter was two. Our daughter's like two years apart. And I just figured like, you know, it's my best friend. She's gonna tell me like, oh my God, this is like my first time being a mom. It's your time, first time being a mom. So I figured like she was like, give me like, you know, just we just have those type of talks. She just disappeared. So I was like, okay. So I would be like calling her and she wouldn't be in, she wouldn't answer my phone call. She wouldn't call me back. So I just stopped calling. This look is so pretty. I just stopped calling. We didn't speak. Okay, so this is 2024. I think 20 I think like 2020 right before the pandemic, I want to say. Right before the pandemic like 20 2019, um I got a text message like, "Hey, it's it's such and such. Oh my God, I ran into your sister and she gave me your number. What? I never give out people's number without asking them first. Never. So the fact my sister played in my face like that. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Played in my face like that. Like... Played, because you know I don't talk to her no more. You know you haven't heard from her or seen her in years. Why are you giving her my number? I was on the bus. I was on the bus. So she texts me and she goes, hey, can I call you? I text back, are we going to discuss why you abandoned your best friend?
Yeah, the silence is loud. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't want to get into that. I said, so we don't got nothing to talk about. Ooh, my stomach is grumbling. I'm going to tear that food up. My stomach is grumbling, y'all. And that was the last I heard of her. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop trying to play in my face. Stop playing with me. I'm trying to play my face. And as far as my sister, she where she at too. So anyway, the moral over the story is read the room. Know your worth. Follow your guts. What's for you is for you. Put your best foot forward. Always, you know, look presentable. Because that's, that's what people are judging you of nowadays. I still wear my bonnet, though. Still wear my bonnet to, to the grocery store. I don't wear it out, out, but I wear it to the grocery store. I absolutely do. But it does, it, it, it is true. If you look good, people are going to treat you better. It is what it is. And then it's, it's times where you get hated on because you look good. That happened to me all the time. People stare at me all the time. To the point where they're noticing. They Well, they've been noticing, but... Like, I'll say it, like... Why they... Hmm. And then my daughter will say, yep, I've seen it. He's still oblivious. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Well, I never noticed. Child, you ain't gonna never know. But anywho... Yeah, just, you know, just just try to be you. Stay true to you. Those who are for you will be always be for you. What's for you will always be for you. You know, be consistent. Strive. You know, and do what you got to do. Break my face a little bit. What's going to be for you is for you. I turned y'all off while I would dry my face, but I guess not. <laughs> but yeah, red flag. She was a red flag friend that I didn't even know what a red flag was. But yeah, you gotta be careful. People be <laughs> people out here to get you just because you're prettier than them. You with your boyfriend, your family's intact. You got a good job. You have money. Other people like you. Like, you got to be careful. You definitely have to be careful. And I can't be bothered with all that extra stuff and trying to decipher. But let's pop these lashes on. Your girl is starving, okay? Trying to, you know, get this counting out. But yeah, what's for me is going to be for me. It ain't going to ever pass me, so... And cream got me in a chokehold. Okay, cream. Cream is so forgiving, too. So forgiving, so easy. All my tutorials will be cream. Either Juvia's Place or Black Opal. Either one. Love cream. Cream is just... Ugh. It just gives you that. I'm tired of liquid. Mm -mm. And then cream is, is more affordable to you, so you can mix and match, child, please. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and give some girl talk. Whenever I feel like talking to you guys, I'll definitely turn on the camera. But yeah, but today's look is definitely chill, super simple and cute makeup therapy it just feels good sometimes just to sit down and get cute do your makeup decompress from your day-to-day -day life it's just good you know i put these on with my hand the other day and i actually really liked like the placement of it i see people doing this all the time and i just never did it and it actually is really good like i've been doing tweezers for years 
So for me to do it with my hand, it's different, but I like it. And I don't have to fight. I'm gonna let that dry. I have like one piece of setting spray just sitting on my face, crazy. But yeah, like, this face is so pretty. I'm actually gonna, I think I'm gonna keep my messy bun. Cause I think it's so cute to have just like a messy little situation. I'm gonna I'm a fix it up a little bit so that it's not so, so messy, but I think I'm gonna do like the messy bun and then add my earrings today just for a different <laughs> okay um i think i'm going to eat then i'm gonna go eat some lunch and then we're gonna come back and do my lip because i'm gonna just wipe it off anyway and eat so i'm not even gonna do it yet i'm just gonna do the finishing touches on the face so yeah just make sure you go back with your liner I think I'm pretty good, though, because I had cleaned it up yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but today. Yeah, we good. We good with the liner. I'm going to do some finishing powder. Y'all already know. MAC finishing powder. You know, all over everything. Know who is for you. Read the room. Put yourself first. Keep your word. It's okay to do things by yourself. You don't need friends to always do things with you. And if you have friends, make sure that they are genuinely your friend. Because, baby, these people out here is wicked. I'm sorry. I tell my daughter the same things. You know, I didn't look with blush. So, you know, the blush going to disappear, but it's fine. I'm going to come back, do my hair. Put my earrings on, do my lips, not in that order. But yeah, we're gonna finish out the face. But I just love this makeup therapy session. If you loved the video, don't forget to like the video. Liking is important, especially in this algorithm. So help me out and comment down below what was your favorite topic. If you have a topic that you want me to talk about, definitely let me know, but I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go eat and I'll be right back. So I'm back from my lunch break. And we're taking chestnut. No, this is not chestnut. This is cork. Super simple. I don't want it to be too crazy since this is a soft glam. But I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation. It's super simple. Simple a look. Gotta add you some gloves. What I do with my earrings. Oh, they're right here. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do the hair. Take it down. Still cute from the other day. I'm going to actually do a messy bun. This hair is so much. I need a few clips. So we got this clip. And this is going to be back here, but y'all can't see that in the front. And then this one is going to be right here. See, it's not gripping much. Hold on. Oh, here we go. See? You can't look. I got it and it's still moving. Lord. Okay. Perfect. Earring time. And this is the finished look. So cute and simple. Simple. These baby hairs will not look like anything because, in all honesty, they're just going to get wet when I get in the shower. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. This is the final look. Okay, our girls chit-chat, girls talk session. But, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. You should just know, babe. You should just know. I've been thinking about it, praying for the week and making it away.
Looking for reasons for me to skip a plea. Sorry if the words I said it got you deep. I ain't trying to do something that I don't mean.